by the bell until unless it is the final round there's the bell for the beginning of round one this wbc super welterweight championship bout between terry norris and the champion john the beast mugabe eddie eckert is our referee here this afternoon and terrible terry norris norris in the all-white trunks on the left of your screen here john mugabe on the right with the black stripe Both fighters fighting out of the conventional stance. And Terry Norris wisely not wading right in, testing John Mugabe early. It be behooves Norris to dance and box and use his skills as much as he can. Good lift from Norris to Mugabe is standard. John Mugabe goes down. A left from Terry Norris drops John Mugabe. Mugabe is up and on Queer Street. Oh, this crowd is stunned. John Mugabe piece, dropped his mouthpiece. Here's where Mugabe will need all the experience he has. Can he hang on? Terry Norris closing in on Mugabe, and Mugabe wisely holding on, Alex. Only went down once before in his career against marvelous Marvin Hagler, but he's in much worse trouble here. It was a left from Norris that caught Mugabe flush. And Mugabe does at least appear to be getting his legs back to a degree. If somebody told you there was going to be a knockdown in round one, Dan. Oh, and that right from Norris. Who are stiffing the legs of Mugabe. And John Mugabe is helpless. Holding on. Coming up by one minute left in the round. There is no three knockdown rule. And there is no standing eight count. It looked like the referee could have given a standing eight count there, but there is not in the WBC. It is John Mugabe that has a track record of coming out of the blocks in a hurry. But this round is all Terry Norris. And now for Mugabe, it's just a question, can he survive? And we should say that Terry Norris should be careful because he can still win punches. And two good left hooks from Mugabe, but Norris comes right back. This is clearly a pro Mugabe crowd. John lived here in Tampa for a number of years. Oh, no, oh, 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 will not get up. Five, six, seven, Terry eight, Norris with the nine, right finishes nine. it here in round one. Terry Norris, the new WBC Super in front again and he'll look to keep up that furious pace he said in the tent body shots raining in right hand left hook oh and mckinney seems to have walked away and has he quit did he quit there smoker is going to give him a count there he just walked away and it looked to me like he was throwing in the towel he gets the count a standing count and then Cheetah now is looking to finish the job. McKinney looks all out. He may not have a lot left. And Cheetah is closing in for another successful defense. He looks strong now. McKinney bravely finding the punches to come back. He did look as if he turned his back and quit. That was a bit of a reprieve for him, quite honestly. And some referees might have called a halt there. Well, McKinney brave enough here. He's finding the punches again to come back into the contest. 
This is some comeback from him. Hasn't Cheetah just punched himself out for the moment? Right hand from McKinney there was a good shot. I think that just momentarily dazed and Cheetah. Tremendous round this. Oh, look at that right hand from McKinney. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The man looked finished a minute ago. I don't think Cheetah's going to get up. Steve Smoger bellowing the count at him. But he's not hearing it, I don't... As he eluded a punch. Right now, very difficult to catch is Gerald McClellan. Quite elusive. Oh, low blow, low blow. By Julian Jackson. Low. That was a big heavy shot down south. Another, another, another one. Another one. And McClellan needs a breather. Power and the force that you can hit down low here. Very sensitive area. And he you know, he needs all the strength he can get and all the fluidity and reflex, and that takes your legs out from under you. Oh, nice shot by Julian. As he goes upstairs, no chance of south of oh, there. Julian going to win it right here. Down goes Jackson. His legs are not there. This fight could very well be over right this minute. And there's a minute left to go. Ken McCullough finish him off. He's down again. He's not going to make this, Bobby. He's not going to make this. Julian Jackson doesn't it's know. It's over. It's over. Bill's Wayne has stopped. So well, here you come again. Oh, right. Straight right hand down the pipe, and it was Ferdy a lead right hand. Finishing it off with the left hand, and he down is Jackson. Just what he's been trying to land, the right hand landed just like he wanted it. And here's the second one, and by this time it was academic because Julian was gone. That's it. Right there is the end of that. Again, his legs weren't under him, and his head wasn't clear, and you're not going to respond. all the credit in the world but again he's a 45 year old man in the young man's game but look at look at that competitive spirit coming out now straight right hand landing for Foreman he's had a pretty good round here at number 10 again Atlas didn't counter Atlas here we go again with the Atlas uh, Michael Moore is that down goes Moore on a right hand an unbelievably close in right hand shot I sad udarac levom rukom. Neverovatno kakav udarac, kako čist udarac. Teško će se pridići sada Carl Daniels. Da, evo pridiže se, međutim ne drže ga noge, to su staklene noge i sudija naravno prekida ovu borbu. Pa dogodilo se čudo. Čudo neviđeno. Šta je uradio sada Julio Cezar? Jednostavno izvukao se i napravio pravu eskivažu, a sada, pazite, spustio je desnu ruku i onda sklonio glavu u drugu stranu, praktično nije ni video dakle mu sledi udarac, tako da je sve bilo i kristalno čisto. A to je taj levi direkt koji do duše dugo putuje, ali nosi snagu brzog voza. Pogledajte još jednom, evo, ta je nepromišljene reakcije Danielsa koji je sklonio glavu, jednostavno početnički digao ruku i toga je koštalo izgubljene titule.
demonstration of guts and power. What is the devil in the ring? What a combination of power, Bobby. This guy had this thing so one. All he had to do is cruise for two more rounds. He got nailed. to 22 for Gotti overall. Well, it's 46 out of 88, 52% in the round. We told you you'd get your money's worth from this bout. And Ruelas has come out like he's looking to find out if, how much Gotti has left and if he can get rid of him right now. Watch your heads. I don't know if that's a smart thing to do because he should know that Arturo keeps more. Left. Oh, good Battle shot. of uppercuts, both men landing. Big uppercut shots. is a war. An all-out war. And it verges on becoming a war of redemption for Gabriel Ruelas. And now here comes Gotti again. And Gabe has a mouth over his left eye and under his left eye now. left in the round. We'll keep you posted as long as our clock Watch is temporarily out of commission. They're only one minute into this stanza, and it is vicious. And uh, Gotti has a cut under his left eye now. Right hand bomb, and Roella says, hey, you can't hurt me. I'm going to hit you back. That left uppercut is a vicious weapon for Gabe Rattles here tonight. But look at the combinations from Gotti. This is his fight. This is what makes Gotti. Both men selling out defensively to do the damage they can do. <laughs> Ruelas looks, I don't know, a hair stronger in terms of what he's able to take. And that may get him through this. Gotti wobbling again and badly cut under the left eye. Oh, there are... Low blow by Gotti. Estevez says keep him up. Right hand lands over the top. Oh, that goes cool. Willis. I don't think he'll make it back. Oh, two but he big is right close. hand shots by Gotti. Seven. Monster shots. And a swollen Gabe Willis gets up. And it's Estevez over. says no more. Can you believe Arturo Gotti? Arturo Gotti. Gotti. Oh. <laughs> The end of the fight, watch the right hand shots by left, Gotti. Left hook, I think, is what ended it. Right yep, there. You're right. Right there, and that was all she wrote. Yep, so the two right hands, one big, one little, setting up the monster left hook. There's the left hook, and over it is. Always going to be at this juncture as you look at Virgil Hill a question of what will motivate Roy Jones Jr. to get to the top level maintain the level that he's been at because he's obviously gotten the money doesn't need it so Virgil Hill like many of Jones' opponents hoping to cash in on that hoping that Jones is a little bit too content well, he's here to make it a fight as you said he's not going quietly into the evening he's fighting Landing an occasional punch, which we don't see that often when you fight for a tone. And showing some movement here. Guess that heel is all right. <laughs> <laughs> the excuse is gone. <laughs> that's, and that's a new uh, strategy. Like, like the mid-fight excuses report. Yeah. <laughs> well, Virgil Hill is very inspired and on his game tonight. And Roy Jones is Roy Jones. Winning the fight, just uh, Virgil's making it difficult for him. Oh, so that is a shot. big shot by Jones, and a terrific shot. Hill may not be able to get up. He, he's acting as if he broke the rib. What a titanic shot by Roy know. Jones Jr. And no. That's it. One shot to the ribs. Mike, look at him. He's still slumping down. What a shot. What a bomb by Roy Jones, and a guy that has not put fighters away. With the right hand or with the one punch. We've seen the left hand all the way, and that is a new. Let's see where the punch lands. The rib area. No, it's on the side. And it's a legal punch. It looks like, from the way he was reacting, that Virgil Hill broke a rib. Now, watch the shot by Jones. 
and immediately Hill is grabbing that area. That is such a sensitive area, and he got nailed. Dave, that, uh, to me, that's a legal punch. What do you think? Sure. It is.